Hi, thank you for joining me for another episode of Beyond the Curb River City Living. I'm Jill Morenz from the Catalytic Fund, and today I have a really cool renovated house in Newport to show you. There are so many interesting details from the original 1860 structure, plus ones that were added in the renovation. So let's go on in. This episode is sponsored by Pivot Realty Group and Mansion Hill Properties. Pivot Realty Group is a relationship-focused team of experienced realtors specializing in the Northern Kentucky area. Mansion Hill Properties, owned by Pivot agent Mark Ramler, specializes in historic renovations in Northern Kentucky. Mark is your historic home and rehab specialist in the River Cities. Located adjacent to Newport's historic East Row neighborhood, this house has undergone a dramatic transformation. It had been vacant for 10 years when the renovation began and had a rickety addition that was rebuilt to include the kitchen, master bedroom, and two-level porch. Here are a few photos of the house before the renovation started. This is the dining room, and this staircase is in the living room. Here's the living room now. You can see the beautiful restoration done on the stairs, which have hand-turned spindles. I love the simple decor in here. It allows it to maintain a very open feel. That fireplace, while not original, is very old and was able to be saved. I'd like to introduce you to Mark Ramler, the mastermind behind this renovation. This is probably the oldest house that I've renovated. So I've done a ton of them from 1880s and such, but this is 1860s, so it's pre-Civil War. So that even the construction methods were a little bit different in this one. And there was so much raw potential here that I saw. My favorite details in this house have to be the use of reclaimed materials. So upstairs, we went a little bit more modern and vaulted some ceilings. But in doing that, we took out like floorboards and the floor joists and stuff for the attic which we've repurposed, like we made an awesome waterfall island and even dovetailed the corners out of the 1860 floor joist. So these have already been in the house over 150, 160 plus years. And now it's becoming part of the house again in new life and it's gonna have its own generation here. And even like the hood that's behind me, these are two foot wide planks of old growth wood that were in the attic on the floors. I've done over 20 rehabs now and this is probably in my top like three. It's like every property I do, I want to live in and this one's like, I want to live in this house so bad. What don't I love about Newport? I'm leaving my mark on it. It's like I can walk around and see maybe a dozen properties that I've helped contribute to make this place better. And I just, I love Newport. Let's take a closer look at the kitchen. As Mark mentioned, the island and stone hood are made from old wood. Most of the cabinets are custom made for this space, but the glass fronted ones were salvaged from another renovated home in Newport. Okay, I want you to remember this interior window. I'll tell you more about it later. This is the original fireplace that you saw in the before photos. It's part of the original 1860 house and has a simple beauty to it. The dining table extends to seat 12 and the bar cabinets are custom made. They're painted a dark green color that I really like. This hallway leads to the powder room and mud room. When you go upstairs, the steps split off at the top and you can go in two different directions. One direction leads you to this bathroom. The vanity was also made from old attic floorboards. This is another interior window like I pointed out earlier. They were both salvaged during the renovation of the building that is now Hotel Covington. They're used here to bring light into the inner rooms. Here's the child's room. It has an original fireplace with a cute pretend fire and a loft. Right now the loft is being used as a home office, but it will eventually become a playroom. The master suite can be entirely closed off from the rest of the upstairs. It has this gorgeous bathroom, a laundry room and walk-in closet. The shower has tile on two sides and the third side is an original brick fireplace that has actually been waterproofed. It adds such character to the room. Here's the master bedroom. It's a very peaceful space with high ceilings and cool, calm colors. It has a door out to the second floor porch, 
where the owners often have coffee and relax, enjoying the views of their neighborhood. Thank you so much for joining me for our tour of this great house in Newport, Kentucky. Please check out our other episodes at beyondthecurve.org. On behalf of the Catalytic Fund and our sponsors, I'm Jill Morenz. Beyond the Curve is presented by the Catalytic Fund, a company that through its investments and real estate expertise, executes high impact real estate projects in Northern Kentucky and creates new spaces for living, working and entertainment.